Hello, and welcome to Hackensack Meridian Mountainside Medical Center. I'm Dr. Bijal Maida, Program Director of the Hackensack UMC Mountainside Internal Medicine Residency Program. I'm delighted that you're interested in applying to our residency program. We're a core internal medicine residency under Hackensack University Medical Center sponsorship and a clinical site at the Hackensack Meridian School of Medicine. Our hospital has been providing care to our local community since 1891. This commitment extends to our residency program with a long tradition of training outstanding internal medicine physicians and medical students. Our experienced faculty and staff are dedicated to your education. We hope that our virtual tour will give you a taste of what it's like to be at Mountainside and get to know what makes us an outstanding place to train. Let's get started. Internal medicine is unique because its breadth allows for you to prepare for the full scope of practice. From hospitalist, medicine, to primary care, to pursuing fellowship opportunities. As we have no fellows here, residents are first in line to provide direct patient care and perform procedures. In the ICU and ER, residents become comfortable with a wide variety of procedures, including intubations and central line placements. In terms of setting, you'll find yourself managing an inpatient team for the acutely ill, handling a myriad of diseases at the clinic, emergencies in the ER, patients in critical condition in the ICU, and everywhere in between. A day in the life of an internal medicine resident is to experience the breadth of a wide variety of medical specialties. We work with internists, subspecialists, surgeons, psychiatrists, neurologists, physical therapists, nutritionists, and many other healthcare providers directly. Your attendings, peers, and staff will not only be your teachers and mentors, but will also be your family. At Mountainside, the Internal Medicine Residency has adopted a 6 plus 2 ambulatory block structure, and the year is divided into 26 week blocks. By separating inpatient responsibilities from outpatient duties, residents are allowed to focus on one set of patients, giving them their full attention and not being torn between competing sets of responsibilities and patients. After six weeks of inpatient, ICU, elective, or night float rotations, residents have a two-week ambulatory block where they see their own patients and develop rewarding continuity relationships with their patient panel. And there's always a golden weekend in the ambulatory block, which prevents burnout and promotes wellness during residency. Our residency has protected educational time set aside twice a day every day, and everyone attends morning report and noon conference interns, residents, and medical students. This is different from other programs that have gone to academic half days with only three hours of academics or a morning report for only one group, residents or interns. Morning report begins at 8 15 with a large variety of case presentations with at least one to two faculty preceptors. On Fridays, we have joint conference with family medicine and cover topics common to both residencies, emergency medicine, humanism in medicine, radiology, wellness, law and ethics, and quality improvement, just to name a few. Our noon conference series is predominantly led by subspecialty faculty. Each day of the month is assigned to a specific specialty. We also have medical grand rounds once a week and a morbidity and mortality conference once every block. During residency, you'll find that we have a rich environment for scholarly activity. Residents are expected to submit at least one case presentation, participate in one quality improvement project, and participate in a grand rounds level talk during their senior year, called Chief of Service. Residents have the flexibility to choose topics of their interest, either from case reports, cared for for patients in the hospital, or QI projects that arose from the hospital. Our dedicated faculty and GME staff will help you navigate the Hackensack RMB, appropriately utilize statistics, and get your work ready for publication, and presentation. From the first day you start, you'll feel like you're at home as you're welcomed by our wonderful house staff, Jeanette and Christine. They are truly the backbone of our program to help you and make sure you get everything done on time. You will immediately be assigned a program director mentor. However, you will soon learn that all our faculty members have an open door policy and are always available for you if you need them. If you're interested in writing articles, case reports, or performing procedures, or have other specific areas of interest, our faculty can help guide you and help you excel in those areas. They are here to coach you through the whole residency process and will support you if you are struggling in any areas or have any issues, whether personal or professional. 
Our two PGY3 chief residents are also here to help at any time. While most graduates pursue hospitalist and primary care positions, both the faculty and our program director encourage residents to apply for fellowships. Our residents have had very successful match rate in pulmonary critical care, gastroenterology, infectious disease, nephrology, and hematology oncology. Our residents do very well on the boards and our two-year average is 94%. We prepare longitudinally by taking monthly exams and prepare with board review sessions led by the faculty. Our program emphasizes wellness and we have multiple hospital resources available for preventing and treating burnout. A wellness curriculum is built into our joint conference series with topics like yoga meditation, nutrition, fatigue mitigation, and financial literacy. We have a faculty psychiatrist, Dr. Hertz, who teaches residents about wellness for our patients and for ourselves. We also have a resident wellness committee that plans fun and exciting activities throughout residency to encourage resident bonding. In the past, these activities have included amazing holiday parties, happy hours, potlucks, hikes, and outings at local restaurants. Montclair is easily one of the best places to live in New Jersey. Just 30 minutes from Manhattan, Montclair is famous for having four downtown areas, award-winning restaurants, a diverse culture, the Wellmont Theater, various music, film, and food festivals, a farmer's market, hiking trails, golf courses, trending local shops, and several art institutions. Welcome to Mountainside Medical Center, located in Montclair, New Jersey. Here, we'll be going through the main floor, which houses our gift shop, security office, cafeteria, library, and auditorium. Here to your left is our multi-faith chapel for both patients and staff. In our gift shop here, you will find gifts such as jewelry, flowers, candy, ice cream, and gift cards for those last minute emergencies. Here's our cafeteria, which houses a multitude of food options, including coffee, protein shakes, and a wide variety salad bar. You will also get a prepaid meal card for meals on call to get that cup of coffee or snack. Here is our auditorium, where we have approximately 150 seat capacity. We host our weekly joint conferences with the family medicine and dental residents, as well as medical grand rounds. While most of our resources are found online on our intranet, we still have a physical medical library space. Here you'll find some space and quiet time to do your work, to study, do research, and read up on the latest journal articles of your liking. Now taking you to the first floor, here is our level two emergency room equipped with over 25 rooms. It's equipped with a fast track area where you will do procedures such as laceration repairs, splints and casting. For your convenience, there are multiple translating devices and a state-of-the-art radiology suite. Our emergency room physicians and staff are always helpful and here for you. Here just outside of the ER is our cardiology department and cath lab. During your cardiology rotation, you will have the opportunity to refine your ability to read EKGs and even get the opportunity to assist in performing electrical cardioversions, as well as reading echocardiograms. Here's the surgery department, equipped with state-of-the-art tools such as the Da Vinci robot. We will now take you to the second floor and beyond. We have three spacious call rooms available to residents at all times. Our call rooms are equipped with personal computers as well as private bathrooms. There is a common lounge area with a couch, TV, coffee machine, microwave, refrigerator, and healthy and unhealthy snacks. We also have a ping pong table and host an extremely competitive ping pong tournament. Welcome to the ICU. Patients in this unit are in critical condition and need close and constant medical specialized care. We spend two months every year in the unit working side by side with the intensivist attending to provide care to our most critically ill. Our full-time intensivists are passionate about critical care and resident education. You will see patients with complex surgical and medical conditions and will manage all aspects of their care from fluid resuscitation, antibiotic management, presser use, management of ventilator modes and strategies as well as procedural skills such as endotracheal intubations and central venous line placements. As the resident admitting officer, we provide medical consultation to other services, 
including psychiatry. In our behavioral health and geriatric psychiatry unit, we have 30 inpatient beds, and internal medicine often provides the medical intake of these patients. We are fortunate to have a simulation lab here at Mountainside, one that was recently accredited by the Society for Simulation in Healthcare. We are the second in New Jersey to receive such accreditation. This sim lab allows residents to learn in a safe environment, practicing clinical care skills, procedure skills, and communication skills with peers and team members to be able to provide our patient in a safe, high quality care. We have built a three-year curriculum which covers cases such as chest pain, DKA, anaphylaxis, megacold, bad news deliveries. The fourth and fifth floors of Mountainside are our designated medical surgical units. Patients with a wide variety of diagnoses are often on this floor. The internal medicine service works closely with an interdisciplinary team of various specialties, nursing staff, physical and occupational therapy, social workers, and case managers on these floors to optimize patient care. We are fortunate to have one resident to one intern teams, so interns are closely supported and supervised by their senior residents. Welcome to the Adult Health Center, the teaching practice of the Internal Medicine Residency. Here is where you will provide primary care during the ambulatory block, which comprises 25% of your time in residency. The Adult Health Center is located 0.2 miles away from the hospital at 123 Highland Avenue, where your primary care experience will be focused on acute, chronic, and preventative care, where you will develop skills in health maintenance, disease prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. The residency program is divided into six color-coded clinic teams, which work like group practices. So when you are on the ambulatory block, you will be covering three colleagues who are not. And when you are on ICU nights, you don't need to worry about checking your outpatient results. Someone on your color-coded team has got your back and will cover your outpatient mailbox. I've always known that I wanted to do internal medicine. The question was always where. During my clinical years as a medical student, I rotated at a variety of hospitals and had a wide range of experiences. Of these, Mountainside stood above the rest in a multiplicity of ways. Immediately from day one, I was impressed by the level of care, the amount of teaching, the resident to resident interaction, and the atmosphere that was conducive to learning. The level of professionalism and camaraderie here at Mountainside was outstanding and unbelievable. The attending and subspecialty attendings both display genuine interest in teaching and preparing the residents for independent practice. It has been more than a year since I chose Mountainside's internal medicine program, and I do not regret my decision, not a moment. Here at Mountainside, we do not compromise on our training. We learn a full scope of internal medicine. Expectations are clearly stated, and we are encouraged to do our best each day. With an exceedingly diverse patient population, community outreach programs, multiple elective opportunities, and direct hands-on experiences, I feel confident that after I finish my training here, I will have all the skills necessary not only to pursue a career in medicine, but to excel in any spectrum of internal medicine. To be part of Mountainside is to join a diverse, dynamic, and supportive community family. We have the benefits of being a true community hospital with strong academic affiliations with a major university medical center and our own medical school. Our faculty, staff, and leadership are committed to your education and success. I hope you can see why I'm glad I found my home at Mountainside. On behalf of Mountainside, thank you for joining us on tour today. We hope you will consider joining our Mountainside family.